League, everybody, and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. As you can see, we have a great game coming up for you today. And let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today. We're now going to hand you over to the commentary team from the BBC. Thank you very much. Yes, the first of our players out this morning, we have a former World Championship semi-finalist who has several national titles in his record. Earlier this week, he defeated last year's champion to make it here this morning. Please put your hands together for the number 18 in the world, Wayne Wilgress. His opponent this morning has five WBT titles. He's a former Scottish Open and World Pairs Trophy winner and a previous champion of this event. Ranked number nine in the world, it's England's Mervyn King. Thank you, Rishi. I think you might be right. Uh, Wayne Wilgris has a tendency to uh, create an atmosphere. He brings some supporters with him as well. And of course, he's an excitable chap. Both these players will know each other very well. They're from the same county. So I could imagine that um, even if Wayne gets into his sort of emotional antics, which is great to see, I have to say, John, I don't think uh, Mervyn will be too worried about it. No, it's a different type of game today for, for Wayne. He, he told me he bought his set, first set of bowls off Mervyn as a youngster. Um, he comes into this match fine form. He's passionate, he's emotional. He'll probably be the favourite on paper at the moment. Mervyn scratched around a little bit early days. Yes, but the thing is, if a, if a player just manages to get through the previous match and he hasn't been playing too well John he's only got one way to go exactly and Wayne will know Mervyn is a very dangerous player once he gets on his his drawing form that's probably the, the main thing really for Wayne it's managing now the expectation he's not the underdog now people expect him to perform Very good weight. If he'd have cleared that, he would have been very close to the jack. Two inches. Players are settled in well. Plenty of practice time before the first match of the day. He's got a delicate touch. This is awkward. He might just decide to have a go at this, try and open it up. I can run it. He's got the edge, has he? Yep. But it didn't move the jack too much. It's against the back ball, still one to red. One red. 
Yeah, it was a good, good runner this one. Solid on the front rad. He's very close again, yeah. Doesn't want to stay alongside. Hold back, it's good. Yes. Two red. This is Rebecca. Wayne Wilgus's wife. Played that very well. It's a, this is a difficult one for, um, for Mervyn because he's got no back position. Yeah, it's no good. Bowling to the jack isn't really getting him anything. He's going to go four down. Probably will try and draw with this. Yeah, it's on the wide line. He's not reaching, but he did have a lot of options there, moving King. Yes, it's, he just had to try a perfect draw. 2-0, first end. Win supporters. <laughs> the crowd will always have their favourites, there's no doubt about that. But uh, Mervyn's very popular yeah, here, he's been coming meters. here a long, long time, he's well known at this venue. Good again. <laughs> well, it's starting well, Merv. Favour two. Yes, he's found the range in the second end. He just dropped off the ball. That's why he's shaking his head because that leaves a rest. <laughs> Bowlers want everything <laughs> to be perfect, don't they, John? But the world doesn't work that way. Well, Wayne's trying to get back to the greens here. Side edge. Yeah, that was the the rest he was looking for, but he's also One offered three. the same thing now to Mervyn. There's the shoot ahead as well. It's uh, always looking for the perfect ball. second ball that he All used right. is that shoulder otherwise he was running away from the head yeah 
he just just played that one nice controlled drawing weight goes on that high line again he's not going to get back when will grass Let's go 3 0 after two ends. Length twenty eight meters. In many ways, there's huge pressure on Wayne because of his first two wins. Good wins, I have to say. Yeah, that's what I said early on. It's, it's managing that expectation now, isn't it? Because that's what pressure is, David. It's expectation of yourself. Yes, mentally you have to cope with that expectation and on occasions you take risks as well. But like everything else, John, unless you're prepared to put yourself out there and risk the fact that you might fail at times, you'll never achieve anything. Again, you from Murph. Yep, boy, slightly. He certainly started this, this, this game, even though he's 3 0 down, much better than he did against Pat in the second round. He's, he's playing much better length and line. Yes, he played Pat Briscoe in the previous round and won that on a tie break 2 1. Pat had his chances. Needs the green ball with this. Got it. That's good. One green. Here's second shot, opens up an opportunity on the other side if he wants to play it. Well, this is the Mervyn King that we know so well over the years. Consummate draw player. Two green. Shot ball, touching Jack. Quarter inch gap. In for number two. Just a little shot on the backhand just to tap the green shot ball, move the jack. Yeah, it's really a draw to it, John, because if he tries to play over the weight to make a contact, it will it'll hang, hang off. There's something just moving and <coughs> here he's um Wayne has four timeouts remaining. Don't upset Wayne, do you? I wouldn't anyway. <laughs> He's a big boy. He's used to time out. We didn't want to, but uh, not this early anyway in the match. Two nine end sets with a three end tie break. Oh. Just gone inside the line and <coughs> never any chance with that one. Unfortunately, he's away. That's the problem with that shot. You just have to take the drawing line and hope that you get back.
Two shots, Mervyn King. Mervyn's wife on the left, Suzanne. So two, three, two. Children three, here yes. to the girls. And of course, they've got their mobile phones. Where would well, they be without the mobile phones? I was going to say that. Where would life be? That's what my daughter asked me. How do you manage that in the old days when you didn't have mobile phones? We went out to play. Yes, exactly. We didn't have computers. Jack Legs, 28 metres. loose second ball first ball with two feet short Still struggling for weight, John. I just thought that was just too much room there for Mervyn. Three goes at it. It's a better bowl the last one, but one in a measure. Right. Still one down. Looks the other side here for Wayne. Drop to his forehand. Open route into the jack. Yes, both these players appear to have been very comfortable on both sides, but he pushed that through. Didn't appear to be terribly happy about it. And that's the reason why he knew it was heavy. Five ball, please. Last ball. Uh, 14 inch gap. end from Mervyn. Yeah, that was the sort of form he had in the last round. He was very in and out. <coughs> had started well in the, in the game here, but can't afford too many loose ends. <coughs> Wayne will dress, same side of the green. Had the line, just needs to drop three, well, a metre probably. Meet a little bit over a metre. Not with this one. Drop two metres. Yes. Always a difficulty when you're trying to correct. Two, mate. <laughs> 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 laughing down at Murray's in. Two, mate? No, I don't think so. Uh, one and a measure, but I think it's just the one. Tried his luck, didn't he? Yeah, he's not going to get away with that. Murray's <laughs> well, been around too long. It also trees. shows that these two do know each other very well and they're very comfortable playing against each other. Occasionally you do get players who maybe don't get on that well or just don't know each other. You might get the odd bit of polite chat, but no more than that.
No, <laughs> he's just having a wee comment there, Adam. One shot, yeah, wing will right. press. about an inch in it. So it's called 4 2 after four ends. Martin would be more like a father figure, really, wouldn't he? He would. He's telling him, behave yourself. Don't try that with me. Just on the edge. Sure. Actually short, David. Yeah. If you really want that 23 meter minimum distance, you need to bring the mat up the, the rink and uh, give yourself some space to play with. Yeah, the problem is you can't see the spots that are on the rink. You can't see the spots, can you, from, yep. the, from the mat end. And sometimes on a normal uh, indoor club you can see the side the 23 meter markers on the banking at the side of the green that's not the case here the that like 28 boards. and a half meters so instead of a 23 we're up to a 28 and a half one meter short of a full length and that's uh, there you can see the full length mark the T but the mats also been brought up just a little bit Yeah, it's a good starter. Chance missed. Yeah, it's just over the weight. Chance missed to close it down. Mervyn <coughs> misses with his first one. It's a little high with this as well. He does, and as you were saying, John, he played a number of what events like this in the previous match. We couldn't work out why. But then it's not easy out there. The, the rink is challenging this year, there's no doubt about it. It's, uh, it's put down exactly the same way, but sometimes that's just the way it is. Can't be perfect. Uh, he's taking the opportunity to get a closer ball now, Wing will rest. I think sometimes with somebody like Mervyn King over the years, he's a victim of his own success and he, the standards he sets is very high on the draw shot. And of course, we also apply those standards because we know how good he is. This is much better. <laughs> First the shot of the drops and the pass. And find a good adjustment then. One red. Still one red though. Also two gaps, wait. Five and a half and six inches. Much better ball though. Something to work with now. Bit of a try here, yeah. gets back to the green. Well, it's a good ball, but it offers up a shoulder on that forehand if Mervyn wants to play it. Rest the ball off, drop in for the jack.
Doesn't want to tap it either though. Just over the weight, right back into centre rink. One shot, Wayne Wilgrass. Set score 5 2 after 5 ends. Still people moving around. Coming in and out of the arena. Length, 27 metres. Mervyn would normally not let a short ball annoy him. 20 inches short of Jack Hart. Tendency just to come around it. But um, decided to move onto the other side with the first ball. Yeah, I think he's last time in this direction. He didn't play a great end. He feels well. I'll try the other side, see if I can get back to centre. Favour one green. Is that level now, over there? Five inches short of Jack High. Oh, you can hear the sound there, Wayne. He didn't like that at all. Never sent it. Well done, the green. So that leaves very few options for him with the next ball. Three short balls and Mervyn knows any movement on the jack here will really help his cause. Try and hide it. Well, he's got a good line in. Turn off, the, you know, turn off the green ball would have been good. Too green. It's another shot though and it's forcing way in into just a draw. Didn't look too happy about that. I think it's down to weight really because the line looks good enough. Not far away. He's not going to get the shot, I don't think. No, second shot. Still good. One of those ones where actually missing the jack would have been probably better. Well, I don't know. Because he had a little bit of run in. If he had missed the jack, Davy May would run out. He just called on it, stuck in there for second ball. He'll take that. I think he'll take that one. Not easy for Mervyn to get a second shot. <laughs> Trying too hard. One shot, Mervyn King. <laughs> Set score 5 3 after six ends. Family King in the corner. <laughs> J 
jack length of 23 and a half meters. That's a way to guarantee a short jack length because you've got that three meters after the tee, John, to play with when you bring the mat right up the rink. Interesting choice, but I think Mervyn knows he's scratching around a bit at the moment. He needs to get find a length where he can be a bit more consistent. of applause. 13 inches short of Tough jacket. audience out there. And there's a Norwich City fan. It's been tough for them this year too. Yes, it has. Coming back a little lately though. Well, the length Jack hasn't worked That's for Mervyn. Fine. Yeah, no, hasn't, and he's shaking his head. He's he's unsure of what's going on at the moment. Well, he seems more comfortable there at the moment. Good ball, but it would have been better without the touch because it's framed a jack. He's run at this move. One out. Yeah, worst one though. It is, it's a more difficult one to beat. One red. What's the gap, Mark? Eight inches. Better without the wee snick on the jack. Yeah. So he took one ball out, but it's a more difficult shot to beat now. He's only got one ball to do it, Mervyn King. Hands where Wayne Wildress plays this one. He's played a front touch it. Oh, nearly, just played off it. Yeah, it's unlucky. He holds two shots. Well, it's decision time here for Moving King. Does he try and draw this or does he try and split the two reds away? Oh, I don't think he can draw it. I think he'll just play to it. You know, they're pretty well mixed at the back. The respots in his, his favour on one side. Probably really worth playing into it. He's playing his backhand. Wow. I'm going to try and draw it. Mervyn, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Especially in that backhand, it just holds off. That was a, under the circumstances, John, that was a very hard shot to play. Well, it's a sort of ball, probably, if you're right on top of your game and you're playing the hand well, you'll get it, but it was difficult. <laughs> that ball was in the way on the drawing line. You have to take into consideration how you're playing at the time. Mervyn's not playing that well. Great opportunity for Will Gressier. Had a third. Need some breaks. Just about a thing. Yeah, just about stopped in time. Played it well. Three shots. Three shots, Wayne Wilgress. So it's called eight three after seven ends. Good time for Wayne to pick up a treble. Yeah, it's a sucker punch really, isn't it, for Mervyn. Right in the set, but now it's uh, it's going to be difficult. 8-3 is a good lead at this stage between two top players. And the first two balls with Mervyn, he got himself into trouble there on that short length. He played that short jack, David, and didn't deliver the goods. Yes, he brought the mat right up. Putting Wayne into a very strong meters. position. Two ends to go. Realistically, Mervyn 
probably looking to score well a minimum two but he needs really a three in this end needs to start this end with a closer vault, give himself a chance. It's a lot better. The, the, the difficulty for Wayne, the first one is he's got a good drive, an accurate drive, very quick. If you pop a short ball in, a get out of jail card isn't really available, or at least it's hampered. Looks to have picked a good line. Certainly a lot better. Yeah, he's very close here. This will be a good ball when he finishes. Locks in. Yeah. That half an inch past. This stage for Wayne, it's all about closing the end down. He can afford to lose two singles over the last two ends. Doesn't want to lose a three or a four. One red. Well, he's thinking about this. He realises that there's a little trail shot available for Mervyn. If he brings Jack back on the backhand, he could make a three. So, hence, he's changing to the forehand to try and get position. Not a particularly easy shot, though. He's got the running, he's very close. And he made that look easy. That's very nice indeed, isn't it? Mervyn will have to try and remove these. Running ball. Yeah, not too much weight because he wants his own ball to stay on the rink. He's getting past. Got past, but inside. That ball's lost. Yeah, he got past the red one, but just in, inside the line. Cover that green ball. Right. Last ball is good too because even though he's not the third ball, he's the fourth ball, isn't he, David? Exactly. Exactly. exactly, he's the fourth shot. So this the two balls go out, John, he scores a double, and that's just about okay. Set lie against him at the moment. Close to it. Oh, he's played it well. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a great ball. Super shot. Made a double out of it. Got the two he needs. Two shots, Mervyn King. No, that's a fantastic shot by Mervyn, giving the uh, set against him. Control the weight. Set score eight it's five a difficult thing eight to do, John. To pick up two shots in that head. <coughs> or as I often use in my, my own club, and I use the word to double. It means two. Doesn't suit everyone, but we use it a lot. It's two shots. So Mervyn King looking for three shots this end to half the set, and that would be a real get out of jail result.
anywhere but short for Wayne. It's a long way short jump, but the key thing for on this occasion is it's not in front, in the middle of the rink, it's off to the side. Yeah, because if he is in trouble, he may want to use that big drive as a weapon. Another one coming down, you've got to run though. Struggling, but it's going to make it, I think. Only just. That's a long way away when you're looking for three. Yeah, it's a let off that one for Wayne Wilgress. Anything past the jack, you know, a couple of feet was okay. Wayne's going off the open side. Good decision, that. Just needs a close bow. It's not bad. It's trucking through a little bit, but it's not bad. Expect Mervyn to draw another one inside though. Yeah, Mervyn has to follow that now. Well, that's it. Short again. Oh, it's a big let off, isn't it? Two balls, your first one bang on it, John. You're expecting Mervyn to put one at least within a foot. Uh, no chance of the three now. No, oh, it's... Well... Can't believe it. He's given himself a, a talking to there, but... He, he knows that's, that's loose. Very loose ball. Yeah, this one's just gonna... Put the lights out totally. Yeah. That kills it off completely. One green. Wayne's army are happy with that one. Yeah, drops right in on it. Yes, that was the opportunity. It was left Time for him, out. to be fair. Mervyn has three timeouts. Mervyn remaining. could have closed the door with the second, third deliveries. He failed on that occasion, and really he's got no shot here. Be interesting to see what he decides to do. He might just play a practice shot. Oh, I can't see anything, to be honest, sir. Absolutely nothing on you. Yep. Good practice shot. Jack's off the rink. It'll go into the re-swap position, One but it won't make any difference. Set, Wayne Wilgress. Well, he was good value for the win in that set. He really did play well. Uh, Mervyn, on occasions, had a couple of really good ends, but other than that, he was struggling a bit. Yeah, overall, Wayne was a more consistent player. The problem here at the moment now for Mervyn to decide what length Jack is going for at the start of this set and try and play himself into his normal game. He's tried the uh, 23 metre, didn't work. Go a touch longer with this. Matt is out, but not as far. Jack length, 25 metres. World number nine. Con he has been really struggling in this first set and to be absolutely honest with you he's going to have to step up more than one gear to match Wayne Wilgris at the moment comprehensively dispatched with the 9-5 scoreline had opportunities but just couldn't play them
About 18 inches past jack height. Is that the shot? Yes. Taking his chance. Yeah, he's playing solid balls, isn't he? And been moving at arm's length. Moving, just trying to find a good line. He's just overplaying it. This one should pull back very quick. But he's just over the weight, and that's why it stood out. One red. You think the way Wayne played against Mark Dawes as well, that to me that was arguably the match of the championship. We've had one or two since then that have been absolutely brilliant as well. Stuart Anderson and Jimmy Chesney was a magnificent game. He's taken out two seated players, one of them arguably the favourite for the event, Mark Dawes, defending champion. Just got over the line against Simon Skelton. 8-7 and 8-all in the second set. That was a really tight game. Uh, trying to make that adjustment on his line. Don't want to pull it in too much. Well, in for second by the looks of it. One red. Yep, good ball. I think in Mervyn's situation here, he needs to just keep the first three or four ends tight, John, try and compete with Wayne, if at all possible, win, or at least get the better of the first four ends. Get a little growl out of Wayne, don't you? you know, he's, he's like a big bear I'm out sure there. He just he growls when everything is not right. He doesn't hide it, does he? 1 0, first end. How many words you could make out of that? It says Wayne on their t-shirts. You could have some fun there, a bit of scrabble, couldn't you, John? Yes. Track length 25 meters. But they really needed five more people just to put world underneath it, didn't they? Just Definitely. Yeah. Needs another five fans. Yeah. Missed chance, I think. Five or one green. <laughs> I 
think that one's made the trip. No change. Small adjustment he needed just to drop back. And goes the shot ball. Line looks good. It's all about having good weight with this one. Oh, he's just over that. Just over the weight. One red. Frustrating old game at times. He's not far off a two, two good bowls there. Just a little short with the second one, a little heavy with the third. That adjustment is so hard to make some days. Not a few weighing at the moment though. There it is again. Two red. Yeah, he fell out, but it's definitely two. Two reds. Um, needs a similar ball to his last. Now he's got a chance. Yes, there's a big shoulder there to rest. But again, John, if you're over the weight, you will hang off. Really looking for perfect weight with this. Got a chance with this one to bounce off the back ball. Yep, there's that ball. Without that, he wouldn't have made it. Uh, well played, Mervyn King. One shot, Mervyn King. Finally made that adjustment with the fourth ball. Set score 1 1 after two ends. It's good play because he didn't really think about the jack. He was aiming for the balls to drop back, John, and that's, uh, that's good play, really. Yeah. Length 28 meters. Better first balls, it's beaten immediately. Two inches past Jack High, one red. hard again to drop in and he has it's good stuff not sure if it's going to make the two One but nine. very close runner looking to reach on the two balls so outside it got his other one out that's a, yeah. that's a poor connection. Yeah, see, he was off target. If you're off target with a running ball, all sorts of things can happen to you. He's in big trouble here now. Shot ball is 
Two eight. down. I'd expect him to be three down after this next ball. Well, it's after it. Well, he's trying to encourage it forward. He's not sure if he's got the weight. Looks pretty decent. He always thought he was a bit short. I tell you what, John, that's not Free a bad ball. Yeah, that is okay. It's not side on. It's counting. It's in front of the jack. Merv's only got a, a draw shot here. Yeah, that's uh, better than putting one right beside it. Yeah. Can't afford to be loose with this one. Now well then, he's got a chance if he runs. Yeah, that's a good save. That's a big save. He's in for second. And I wonder if Wayne Wilgris will take a risk here and try and remove the ball. Well, it's a safe shot, I think, Dave. Well, the red ball covers the jack in front. If he plays it with the right weight, he could pop that green through the gap between the two red balls. Yes, pick up four. The only danger is if he gets the red ball onto the jack, he loses his shot, but that would be very unlucky. It's a sort of shot at this stage in the set. It might be worth playing, I think. Well, it's not an easy, it's a de degree of difficulty with it because it's the way a hand plays, but it is an opportunity. Wayne has three timeouts remaining. Stalking around it, trying to work out the angles. He knows what the problem is, and uh, he's just trying to pick out the line. The weight's not so much of an issue. He's going a bit strong at it. Playing it. What? Gonna, no, it's uh, he's never going to get back yeah, from there. He's played it too high with that weight. Yeah. He didn't need that weight, will, actually. Will no, that was heavier than what I expected. Um, Set score 2 1 after three ends. The so line was the problem. That's all. Wayne, a painter and decorator by trade. Manufacturers of ladders, not required. And not at lower levels, he's <laughs> got a good reach at there. Uh, perhaps upstairs he would Japan, need one. 24 but, uh, meters. I'm sure Rebecca makes uh, it's his wife there, just in the centre of the picture, to make sure of his skills at home. Well, if you need any painting done, you can get in touch with him, uh, Dave. You can, you can sign him up for a game at Belfast Indoor as well. <laughs> yeah, let's get Michael Stepney down to fix my fence as well. <laughs> He's a carpenter by trade. a half decent result out of a heavy shot he's shaking his head he's wondering what, what on earth am I doing here he's uh, just struggling to get those first two balls really close yeah and it's so unlike Mervyn over the years his weight is always so good uh, that's another shot been running this you'd never normally see that Dave no nope. normally we just draw the shot very close now good connection on the jack 
didn't get the end result, but it's still not bad. One red. No. Much better than what it was. Hit the target. We normally choose the open Three. draw, wouldn't he? But he's, he's struggling with his draw. He plays the, the weighted delivery. Good hit. Your bowl is. Just red ball just ran with it. Five inches short of Jack Hyde. Yeah, I'm at. Two and a half inches short. Yeah, so two seconds against him here. He needs another ball in because Mervyn can just play to it. Across the rink, coming back into it. He's looking for the green ball. I think he's deliberately playing this with a bit of weight. Oh, oh got a oh, maximum wow. result of that. Uh, and it's dropping as well. That little edge made all the difference in the world. Mervyn smiles at it. <laughs> Is that we look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he was going to clip his ear on the way past. Yeah, it wasn't intentional, obviously. He's, he's probably a little wide for what he's playing down there, but he's got a beautiful slide off that short ball. There's <laughs> the look. Looks good, kill. Yeah. Oh, Mervyn's played this half hearted. He's got inside the rest. line. I'm amazed he played with that weight. Oh. Absolutely shocked he played with that weight. Could have rattled into that. There was no back position to worry. He had the green ball. <laughs> Lucky so and so, he's probably saying to him, really. He wasn't far away from the shot though, John. No, you can see what he was playing. He had that little <laughs> slide or wick. Thing is, you don't get those unless you're in the area. Again, a short jack length coming up. Jack length, 24 metres. We have to remember that Wayne Wilgris was in the quarterfinals last year, John. He had to withdraw due to a positive test. And um, that was very unlucky, so he had to re-qualify. And that's not easy to do. He was playing against Perry Martin, who was rooming with him, and he also tested positive. So both those players had to leave the tournament. Yeah, he won the qualifier at Bromley, Wayne. Very fast surface at Bromley. Big swings, David. Well, it does show what a quality player he is because the qualifiers can be very difficult. I feel better, better after that moving, King. Vital part of this set now. He needs to get back. What a reply this is. Look at this. This is, this is brilliant stuff by Wayne Wilgress. First time. To beat the green one. Inch and one. a half. Inch he, and a half. He's fired up, isn't he? You can see it. <laughs> he is, but also his first ball now becomes very valuable. Very close with this. Good ball. That's not a lovely position. One red. What's the gap, Mervyn's last one? Mervyn's last bowl, four inches. Well, that's a handy ball. You know, he couldn't do much with that, to be absolutely honest. You know, if he goes anywhere near it, he'll probably give the shot away. At least going deep, John, if Mervyn does get something, Wayne's got a chance to run at it. Yeah, I think Mervyn will be playing a similar draw to the last ball on the backhand. Any movement on the jack is good. 
actually put the play a bit firmer at it. All depends on the connection here now. Good effort. One red. Yeah, played it a bit further yes. than I thought he might. Just one inside it again. Yeah. Uh, one down on the forehand spot, yes. Yeah. He wasn't far away, but he hasn't made the connection. Staying away again with this. He's trying to split the two greens. Yes, uh, that's what he's doing. He needs to just bend back a little bit. Yeah, that's good. good. That's really good. Mervyn has to play a fantastic ball here to yeah, get the shot. I think he's got to draw this because I've got a feeling if he runs and he nips his green away, he'll be three down. Yep, he can't afford to do that. I think he's got to draw this. If he wants to take the ball out, he could play the forehand, and that's what he's doing. His own ball's a bit more protected there. Looks like he's going for the little tap on the ball. And that's, well, that's a what? A two One out of ten opportunity. <laughs> Play that ten times, you might be lucky if you get it on two occasions. Set score 5 1 after five ends. <laughs> He's trucking along when Wilgris in a very nice way. You know, he's got control of the match, hasn't he? He's, he's beating Mervyn to the jack. Not many players have done that over the years. Got to say, he just keeps it tight here and keeps playing like he is. He needs another, probably another two ends of singles. If he can win the next two ends, I think Mervyn will uh, accept the fact that it's just not his day. But if Mervyn can pick up two or three shots over the next couple of ends, he's right in it. You hear that comment? <laughs> oh, Wayne rubbish, he says. <laughs> well, it's hard to argue with that assessment. Not where he wanted to be with his first ball. Well, he doesn't bottle it up, does he? No. <laughs> he gets it out there. <laughs> a decent start by Merv. Get a bit of pressure on you. Doesn't look too oh. happy with that one as well. He yeah, hasn't played that. He's had two, two poor balls to start on this end. Hasn't pushed it. He's overcorrected. That's the problem. Oh dear. It's uh, just when he needs a really good ball to say to Mervyn, you're going to have to chase this now. He's a bit more interested in this one. So he should be. The big recovery shot, John, and that makes his first ball that deep look very good indeed. One red. Uh, he's given himself a talk into he, he found a big ball there with the third one. Yeah, but he, he's All just he he's, he's trying to get the adrenaline going, isn't he? He's trying to work himself up. And he knows the first two weren't good enough, and he left himself in a mess, and he had to play a big ball then. What he's looking at, Mervyn, well, he's got two Mervyn goals at two this, but the ideal shot would be to come in and split the balls. Now, those two balls would disappear, but the front green one would lie. If not, and he gets front contact on the front ball, they get the jack back, open it up. 
give himself a chance with the last ball. Either way, needs to reach this. He's on the edge for going across. And he didn't get any help either. His own ball will stay on though, and uh, I would suggest to Wayne that he covers that. He knew he was inside the line. Yeah, once it starts going, it goes quick there, and he's hoping then, well, I might get a bit of assistance off the short red one. He didn't get that either. at that. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, he's more or less saying though, if, if you get this wrong, your two balls will go out. But if you get it right, he will score the shot, Mervyn. It's, um, it's all about making the connections now. Very controlled weight. Better line. Got a chance. Push and run. Oh, unlucky. Very unlucky. In the area. Forced into playing the difficult shot by Wayne Wilgus. Perfect draw shot. Let's go 6 1 after 6 ends. Even when he plays a bit, you know, two dodgy balls, he's coming in quick with a third. Yeah, that was a secret. He found a big third ball, Wayne. Took the end away from Mervyn. <laughs> Three ends here, Wayne Wilgress from a semi final spot. Well, if he wins this end, I don't think there's any way back, to be honest with you. you know, even a one will be enough to, for Mervyn to, to realise it's just too big a hurdle to get over. The only trouble is, John, and you know this as well as anyone, it's always possible and a half to meters. play a bit of a nightmare end and lose a big count. We've yeah. seen it before in yeah. this event. Yeah, we have. You've got to keep focused here, Wayne. Doesn't want too many loose balls. Himself under pressure. Got away with it last end. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. He knew it was over the weight. Better to be deep rather than short. happy again. It does tend to stay down a little bit like that on his forehand. I've noticed it's a, a habit of it. It was just a groan, John, that was all. He hadn't the chance. He, he knew he had pushed through it. Three feet. This is a big chance now for Mervyn to he gets a really close ball here. Has to score probably at least two to give himself a, a chance in the last two ends. Green. That third ball again. Uh, it's a recovery ball, isn't it? And it's a good one. Fourteen inches between the two Left balls. Left a little bit of bother again, and there it is—the magic third ball. He's like a growling grizzly, isn't he? 
crawling around the place, just ready to eat you up. Oh, and the boat's falling back now as well. Yes, that's always a help. That's right, this is by Merv King. I don't think he would have made it even with the ball falling back, but it's a really good ball. Right. Well, he's got back position here. I think another draw in on the uh -huh. backhand is, is probably as good as he could do, legs. Dave. That, that red ball could disappear. It's... it's, it's mervyn has got three seconds, hasn't he? That's the thing, Dave, and, and I think he needs a closer bowl. Well, he needs another one in the head. Yeah. If he could get to his own ball and try and lock it in. Yeah. Uh, the danger is, of course, moving the jack. Yeah. He doesn't want to give it away. If he gets a foot past, it's okay, isn't it? You know, something around there. Didn't like that at all. <laughs> That's rubbish, he said. Didn't like that at all. He's yes. wide. I don't think the weight would have been bad on the right yeah. line. Well, yeah. He knew he wasn't there for weight, and that's why he made that comment. But there's a chance here for Mervyn. If he, can, if he can get a connect, his best one is actually to get that, John, into the other green ball to remove the red because there's a oh, no. chance that two balls so will stay in. Yeah, I mean, what he doesn't want is a real bad connection and the jack to spring out to the right side exactly. of the rink. But yeah. I think given the state of the game, this is worth a risk. It has to be because if that jack does bounce out and he loses three, it's over. Has to play it. Mm. Not sure if he's out wide enough for this one. Yeah. Always looked under. It wasn't an easy shot, John. So you have to say that this rink is challenging this year for those weight shots. Very few people have played them well. Jimmy Chesney seems to have uh, mastered it, but one of the few it has. It's been great drawing from all the players that have qualified for the quarterfinals, in particular Alex Marshall, who was exceptional against Nick Brett. Those weight shots are not easy. Check length 25 metres. There he is, the man himself. Jimmy Chisney, no hiding place. We have experts out there to find you. <coughs> One good ball is all it will take. And it's not bad. Mervyn needs three shots to push this through to the last end. Yeah, it's going to be tough because he hasn't really threatened too much during this game. No, nope. he hasn't really had a sniff of a three or a four. <laughs> a little wry smile there as if to say, well, I'm, I'm doing my best to make the score look better. Gotta make sure he reaches. Short balls are no good. That's that's okay there. Yes, that's that's actually very good because he's in a position to trail the jack for three shots. 
really what he needs but then again he's looking for a four in the last end John so it really is an uphill battle he's trying to encourage this one forward and it looks pretty decent yeah, he's all over it absolutely all over it and he stopped the trail as well well, uh, I think that might be yep. the Mer ball to win it. Mervyn's wasting no time. He's just getting the ball away. He knows. He knows it's all over. There's nothing he can do. We're saying back home, David, when we're in this much trouble, it was Billy Graham in the A team when he couldn't save you. <laughs> Absolutely. The loud microphone. He'll use a timeout. Might as well enjoy the moment. Time out. Wayne has one timeout remaining. We play the backhand here because the forehand really doesn't want to leave anything down there in the forehand. He could play the backhand relatively safe. On the area of the reeds, those three great green balls, David. If he gets anywhere around those three green balls, yep. there's no shot on really for Mervyn. Uh, the perfect ball would be to split the green ones, but uh, I just. Anything on the high side would be good as well in case Mervyn gets a slice of the jack. Yeah, it's really difficult as it stands for Mervyn. But uh, gets to there, I think that closes the door totally. It's on the backhand. So it's very wise he's uh, trying to go on the high side. Yeah, just into a good ball. Position. It's a good ball. Yeah, it's a clever ball. He worked out the situation, knew what he had to do. That was the only area that was dangerous. I think Mervyn, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just shakes hands here, to be honest with you. Well, I think the only thing that Merv can play is a drive on the short red, Dave. He gets a short red down the green and uh -huh. then hope to get it into the shot bowl and see what happens after that. Yeah. And that's yeah. the only, uh, the yeah, only thing I can see there, right. really, to get anything out of the end. I saw their names, Ronnie Sullivan, as well. well <laughs> that's a snooker shot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Need to be dynamo to pull this trick off. Yep, absolutely. The magician's job. Yeah. But he is trying for it. Close to it. No cigar on this occasion. And I have to say, Wayne Milgris thoroughly deserves this win. He played so well. He really did. Brilliant performance by Wayne Wilgris. Couldn't have asked to do any more. Fair to say, Mervyn really wasn't at his best by some distance. But you can only play what's in front of you. And when Mervyn did get in, John, Wayne played a big ball. Yeah, continuously good form, Wayne Wilgris. He played a very controlled game. He was the better player on the day. Mervyn wasn't quite at his best, but that takes nothing away from the big man. Yeah, the two of them are still having a laugh about it, you know, it, and, and Mervyn knows that, that Wayne would enjoy the moment, he had to enjoy the moment, it was a fantastic performance, and the score, well, to be fair, 9-5 came on, probably reflects the match. Well, we all knew this was going to be an intriguing encounter. The emotional elements of Wayne Wilgris when he plays bowls against the very calm, collected and experienced Mervyn King. But Mervyn struggled with his game, just couldn't get going, was 5-2 down and then started to lose big coins. He lost a three to that end and to go 8-3 down. And he played some wonderful balls and getting the odd little touch every now and again, which worked out very well. And Mervyn, well, he couldn't buy a shot today. He was just not on his best form. And Wayne killed off every opportunity that Mervyn created. And the big man is through. And doesn't he deserve it? One 13 4. Goodness me, look at the shot scored as well. That's incredible against someone like Mervyn King. It was a consummate performance, and he's through to the semi final.
Yes, and here on the uh, blue rink, uh, Wayne's been waving at his uh, daughter and his other half, Rebecca, up in the stand. So uh, I'm going to let you describe to us right now what emotions you're going through, because I imagine there's, there's a deal that's going on in your mind, Wayne. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> buzzing. Um, yeah, just happy to win against, well, one of my all-time heroes. You know, grew up with Merv. I think brought my first set of bowls off Merv about 25 years ago and you know he is the Norfolk legend and you know I'd just done enough early doors just to compete with my first two bowls and then he ended up playing more runners than I did which was probably flip reverse or what everyone would think was going to happen but I managed to compete and hang in there and just do enough. I'd say you probably did a bit more than that. I know, obviously, uh, there's a little bit of modesty there, which is understandable, but that was a sensational performance in a very important match today. Yeah, that's one way of putting it, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I've, I've been knocking on the door for a few years and not sealed yet, but I'm getting up the rankings, hopefully to break in. But again, I'm here to win um, and I'll stick until the end. And how much does it mean to you? How much does it mean to you that when you are going through these moments and then you finish the match and you look up and you see the people that matter so much to you are here to support you? How does that help? Don't start me off, will you? <laughs> but yeah, everyone here, all the family. Yeah, they're all here. Yeah, it's just took time off work and to come and support is great. Um, there might be a few more tomorrow now. So, uh, it, it, yeah, yeah, it means the world to me, yeah, to be fair. It's all good. Well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Cheers, thank you. Very well played, Wayne. Congratulations, Wayne Wilgris. I'm afraid that's all we have time for this morning. Join us again this afternoon for some more top class action balls. Until then, it's bye bye now.